Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here in his permadeath center of the galaxy run and story mode. So we're, uh, as I said in my last episode, we're going to do the base missions now. Now that the Atlantid missions are all over with, we're going to go on to the base missions. So as I said, I would go ahead and set up a base on this planet, this lovely planet that it planted me on, that the Atlas had dropped me on, and I'm really glad to finally show you what we've got here my ship here I've already got my own landing pad and here's my base as you know I found myself a um, minor settlement so I went ahead and set up power and everything like that we're doing pretty good here uh, this is the base everybody's present I made it a little bit bigger this time I've got my teleporter I've got my large refiner so everything's ready to go um, very simple it's a very simple base nothing special to it um, I did acquire some extra pieces from the anomaly from the construction terminal there so that I could actually build something halfway decent. So here you go. Um, this is one of those things that I wanted to get because I like to have my base off the ground in case the ground changes in any way. So here we are and we're at this minor settlement. This is kind of a poor system. It's not very rich. Um, I've discovered six of the seven animals here. Um, yeah, not much else going on here. The Sentinels are still shut off at the moment, so we shouldn't have any problems with them. Um, there are some really neat ships in the system. There are A-class ships on occasion, but not very many. So anyway, let's get moving. Where we're at right now is we're in the agricultural research, so I think this is actually the last stage. I think we're going to do all the agricultural, which is a lot of bouncing around and getting plants. So let's go ahead and get this done, and we'll spend most of this episode getting this part done. So here's our work gek Oa, the farmer. The frost work is a tricky thing, friend. It flourishes where other plants fail, thrusting its roots through the, through the ice and snow. But such a hard life is not for us. Plant one here in your own home but, and be spared the pain of winter. Okay. Um, work gek Oa asked me to grow a frost, frost work plant and prove our hydroponic systems can replicate any environment. We're going to accept that. Now, there's one thing I did forget to build. Wonderful friend, it is a delicate thing to enjoy to look at for such a hardy plant. Please do enjoy it. Um, the thing that we did forget to build is I forgot to build a um, storage container, which should be number one. And we need magnetized ferrite for that. And we're running low on all of our elements here, carbon especially, so... Let's get just a little bit of pure ferrite real fast so I can build one container, run some wire to it, and there. There. Nope, the door. I like to always put these like on the edge of my uh, landing pat platform here. Um, oh, we need magnetized ferrite. My bad. Six more magnetized ferrite is what we need. My bad, my bad. So we'll get just the six. I'm limited on inventory space, too. Okay. Let's put this sucker in. We only need the one container for now. We'll get more later. And we'll put it just on the edge of the platform here if I can get it to stop doing that. Wow, okay, yeah, it just wants to be calcitrant. Maybe if I get real close, or let's go into the B view and just see if I can... Wow, okay, that is perfect, that's where I wanted it, okay. Let's get some wiring and put it over here, uh, yeah, from there. Okay, let's see how our battery is doing. Yeah, it ought to last perfectly fine. All right, let's take a look. So we have a lot of garbage, I mean stuff, I mean things in our inventory. One thing we have acquired, we acquired a lot of oxygen. I don't know how in the world I ended up with this much oxygen. I'm going to go ahead and store some away there. Uh, we'll put the glass in here. I don't need to hang on to it either. As you can see, we've got a lot of elements. Do we have any frost wart? No, we got gamma root. Selenium, Fecium, yeah, no, we don't. Okay, Paraffinium we're going to put in here. Oh, we already had a good bunch of it. That's fine. 
you up here. We got ionized cobalt and cobalt. Okay, we'll put the 500 cobalt away. I can get it to drop. There we go. We'll keep the ionized. Deuterium is very handy stuff. I'm going to put it in here, though, because it's safer in there. Yeah, let's drop the plate in. Uh, let's see. All right, so again, we need carbon. We need condensed carbon. We need lots of ferrite. We're running low on a bunch of stuff, and we need to expand our inventory one of these days. Along with that, see? Lots of stuff in here I don't need. Um... Yeah, Pugnium, I don't think we need to hang on to that. The upgrades we can get rid of. Copper and chromatic metal I'll hang on to for now. Upgrade. Upgrade. That. That. We don't need that in here either. We'll hang on to these. Because you never know when you might need them. Alright, that frees up a lot of inventory. Okay, good. Oh, good. You don't have to do that. It just puts it in there for us. There we go. Excellent. Oh, cargo bulkhead for a chef freighter. That's good. All right, good. And we have plenty of dioxide, so I'm going to put the excess in here. All right, so we're in good shape otherwise, so let's gather up some minerals and we'll go ahead and get going. Now, we need to get Frostwort. We have our gloves, we have our protection. I don't know why it keeps wanting me to take a look at buildings, but it does. Um, are there any worlds in our system that we can go to? Wow, okay, everything's unknown, so it's time to make them known. Let's go. And we will build ourselves a nice agricultural thing to uh, plant our plants into as well. All right, what do you think? Think that's a cold planet? It's going to first person view. It's easy to check out these planets. Copper, gold, sodium, and aggressive sentinels. I could have got gold from there, go figure. All right, what are you? Gamma root, activated copper. I bet you they have storm crystals, uranium, and salt. Uh, let's see, we got some planets over there. How about you? Fungal mold, copper, okay. You. Ancient bones activated copper. Wow. This is a heck of a system we're in here, you know? It's actually pretty cool. All right. Already got that one. Let's go to the other side of our world here. And we have a planet beyond it. Did we get that one? Yes, we did. And hopefully that is a cold world. A little too far, right? All right, what are you? Whatever you are, you're going through a storm right now. Nope, humid planet. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have any worlds here that we can get frostwort from. Strangely enough. I've never been to a system that didn't have frostwort in it. So, we're going to have to go to hyperspace. All right, so we're going to just check nearby. Uh, there we go. Hmm, dissonant system. You know I want to check that out. But I'm more interested in the size of the system. Uh, of course, it's got a lot of planets. All right, on our way. Can't help it. All right, there we go. The first thing I'm going to do... Oh, well, let's check the system out. Let's check the worlds out and see what we got. We're going to go to the space station here in just a minute. Dissonance detected. Okay, so that's our planet. And what do we got here? Poisonous. Huge. Right in your face. This doesn't look like it. Activated copper basalt. Nice to know we have basalt there, though. That looks like a hot world, but we'll scan it anyway. 
Paradise Planet. Ooh. There's a world behind there. We'll have to check it out. Uh, gotta interrupt me, don't you? Did I check that one out already? Okay, we'll have to fight these ships off first. Yeah, this, uh... These guns on this ship is way OP. It's too... There we go... Three. Wow, they sent four of them after me this time, huh? There we go. And four. Yep, hardly any damage. What did we get? Oh, crystal sulfide, how nice. Okay. So did we check out that planet that had the rings around it? I don't know, did we? Yeah, poisonous. Okay, and then there's a planet over right behind this guy. Let's take a look. Nice. Destroyed 30 starships. There it is. Little guy over there. Let's see who we got. Ross crystals. Hey, we found it. Okay. And that's where we're headed then. We could use some magnetized ferrite too, I guess. And carbon we'll need while we're on the planet. We got a lot of uh, tritium. I should have put that in the inventory. We don't need that. It's handy for building things. Sometimes when you put upgrades on your ship and stuff like that, you need tritium, but not in this case. I did get an upgrade. I got an upgrade for my ship. I saw a pulse drive upgrade, so... I found an S-Class one, so I did add that in. That's one thing I did do. I also rearranged my structure up here and added more stuff in. Hmm, looks like we're going through a storm right now. Oh, gosh. Are you kidding? Water. Water, water everywhere. No land at all to see. Except a couple islands. Okay. It looks like the storm is actually over. Alright, let me get a little further out. And come back. I wonder if my battery on my... Uh, Mouse is going dead or something. Hopefully we'll have some land over here instead of just water. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we just have more water here. Hello. Yeah, look at that. Water. Good grief. I see nothing on the horizon of this place. Okay, let's come back to the planet a little bit. Whatever storm is going on, I can't see anything. Ooh, I think I see land there. Not a lot of it, but... Ah, okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Whatever storm's going on, it doesn't seem to be terrible, you know? All right, oh, there's a whole field of frost crystals right there. Yep, first contact. All right, let's gather up the frost crystals then, as much as we can carry. Concentrating a little tough on this one. Hmm. 
Nothing's attacking me, that's a good thing. Wow. A lot of frost crystal here. See, the more you gather, the better off you are, because not only can you have a great supply of it sitting in your inventory back home, but one of the ways to complete the mission is you have to turn in Frost Crystal. I'm not offering you food. So having extra is good. Also, Frost Crystal is used to create glass. I prefer to use silicate because of the availability of it. So, up to you. See how many animals we have on this planet while I'm scanning them. Ten of them. Okay. There we go. Three. So, three right within my field of vision. Four. So we got some flying creatures as well. Sometimes there's some underground ones. I don't know if we're going to find any of those. Let's start heading back. Now there is that little sentinel depot down there. That's almost worth my attention. I'm tempted on taking it out. Even though I'm in permadeath mode... The risk is sometimes worth it. Let's see. Why does my inventory look? Inventory looks good. Oh, is that an extra animal I've never seen? Nope. I'm going to take a quick look just because the more animals we find, the better. Hyperviolent. Oh, that's not good. Let's see how hyperviolent he is. Yep, he sure is. Oh, you know what we need, though? We could use ferrite dust, can't we? Let's grab some. We can also need some... Uh, as you know, we also need some carbon, as I said before. Okay. How we doing? I think we got a couple hundred. Wow. Okay, that was quick. And that came as that. Okay, excellent. Anybody else over there? Okay, good. And what about trees? Trees up here. Before we start taking on the Sentinels, I want to see what kind of carbon we can get. Nice. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. That makes me feel better. Alright. Excellent. And the multi-tool. Drop you in. Okay, good. Alright, let's go ahead and take these guys out. It's not helping. Bolt caster. Okay. We're not going to take off on our ship yet. Oh, well, crap. Well, that's not good. Where are they? Alright. I think we can run 30 seconds. Oh, 33? That's because I ran into a rock. Stupid. Because I don't really feel like taking on a whole horde of sentinels right now. I just want to be... Just want to survive. We could go into a cave. Three, two, one. Done. 
Good. That should be worth our time. Any more animals up here while I'm here, all the way out of the way? Might as well take a look around. No? Okay, good. What do we get? Let's see. Got some Pugnium, of course. We got some Radon, which we'll put on our inventory. Uh, dirty Bronze. Thermic Condensate, which are worth quite a bit. But it's good to have them in inventory. And some Sulfurine. And as I learned before, I really could have used that at another time. Couldn't I have? What did I hit? I hurt myself somehow. Fascinating. You know what we can do for that, though? There we go. Should be at full strength, see? Excellent. Okay. Excellent. We're on our way. Let's get out of here. Now, not every single thing that we do is going to require that much effort. Okay, back home we go. Did we hit the... We did not. Now, oh, shame on me. We never hit the space station. Like I said we are supposed to, right? All right. Inventory over here requires that we keep nothing. Okay. Actually, um... I'm going to go in here and just move this over into my other inventory because I want to put it in our cargo container when we get back. We'll sell some stuff. We're not going to sell much. Actually, I don't know if we're going to sell anything, to be honest with you. Because I want to build up a good amount of supplies. Fugitive Starship, huh? Makes me wonder what kind of system we're in here. Theft Entity Ergast. Er Ergatsk. Love it. Love these names. Alright, five seconds to get there. Space Station, we are here. And it's another one of those space stations that are kind of an off-white color. Seems to be very... I don't know if that's a new color or not, but I don't remember seeing too many stations like that. They always had these really strong reds and blues and stuff like that. I never seen one that just was this off-white. Okay. So the reason why we're here, and the reason I always suggest going to the stations, is so that we can upgrade our exosuit. Now, I think I just want to put one more spot up here, and I'm done with my technology area. I'm going to start working on this area down here next. And always check the research and see if they have anything we can use. Uh, toxic, shield, life support, thermal. Okay, we've got all the things we need to protect us from every environment that we have imaginable. Shield is not bad, but I think we'll be okay. Same thing with life support. So we'll hold off on that. I'm really looking for an upgrade for my ship. Let's see what they got. Only one they have is launch thrusters, which is helpful. Hyperdrive is okay these days. I'll go ahead and pull the launch thrusters one. And let's see what we can do about installing that real quick. Uh, I don't even know which one is considered launch at this point. Over here. There we go. Good. Excellent. That gives us launch thruster ability. I want to upgrade our infra knife accelerator. I want one more upgrade for it, if I can find one. And then that's it. I should be alright with the ship. Uh, Multi-tool? Well, let's see what they got. Little itty-bitty guy. C-Class has nothing I need. And what do you have in your inventory? It's a talker, apparently. Plasma launcher, geology cannon, blaze javelin. Okay. Mining beam A-Class. It's not really important. Okay. Nothing I need. Uh, let's see. Trade terminal on the far wall. See if there's anything in there. They have gold. Go figure. I've been looking for that. Don't need a lot of it. I should probably get some. Let's go to the Starship inventory and put it in there. Because I do, I do want to have some on hand. Um, dirty bronze and the other item, the thermic condensate, do break down. So it's good to have them in our inventory and hang on to them. Okay. Um, I wasn't intending to join you at the counter. Sorry. Pardon me. Mm, 
trader, we got a hauler, nobody else. Wow, I can make it all the way to the other side now. Unbelievable. Let's see what we got. Okay. Silver, we got some wiring looms, magnetized ferrite. Worth getting so I don't have to make any. Okay. So my inventory on my exosuit is full. I'm not really too concerned about that because I've got a lot of stuff I'm putting into my cargo container. So we'll go ahead and do that next. Hopefully I don't have to build another one. Hey, look at all these haulers, man. Wow. I'm not going to worry about what they have. All right, let's uh, actually, rather than doing this, let's go straight back to our base. We'll use the portal over here to head back. What do you say? And we named this one the E.P. Eisentum base, which is where our overseer is. Now, I pulled him in. All right, so we'll get this plant done. We'll get the next plant done, maybe a third plant after that, and then we'll call this episode. Hopefully we won't have too many more to go after that. There we go. Come on now. I think this episode is in February, if I remember correctly. Hopefully we have a update coming soon. We may be hearing hints of it by now. Okay. Okay, so we need to grow Frostwort. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to build a hydroponics tray. We need four metal plates. We now have the ability to do that, though I'm out of inventory space. Let me just jump out here real quick. There we go. Okay. Two in there, the radon, the sulfurine. Uh, I'm going to put in some of the frost wart. I'm going to get rid of that. The thermic condensate, the bronze. That. Actually, hang on to that. We could use that. Already bronze. It looks like we already had some in stock. I'm going to get rid of the tritium. There we go. That's looking better. There. All right. Now we're cooking. Eh, why not? We'll put that in there, too. Okay. So, the only other thing we need to do is pull the gold out of here. And we'll put it in here. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's go ahead and build our thing. Hydroponics tray. We need four metal plates, like we said, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll just do it right here. Did I pull the other third plate out? No, I didn't. Silly. All right, so we're going to build this. Uh, let's see. No. No. No, let me think here. I want to build it near him. Because we'll probably destroy plants as we go. We'll need power to the unit. There we go. And I have a power wire hider, so that's good. All right, let's make this unit, uh, this plant, I should say. Where do we find that? Here? There it is. Frost wart it is. So that's done, and now we have to return to the farmer. Mastered Frostwort? Your base is already feeling more homely, yes? Confirm by giving him 50 frost crystals. Does the way it shimmers in the light not enchant you, friend? I have lost hours to its gentle glisten. But now, a plant of great contrast. Solar Vine. We need 50 selenium and 25 phosphorus. And good thing we got that selenium, didn't we? Your next crop will be solar vine, a plant that grows deep within the mantle of scorched worlds. It seeks out all heat from the, from the sun or the core below. Its roots can extend to such incredible lengths that once it was believed they never ended. But do not worry, friend. Here, with our facilities, their growth shall be more manageable. 
network gecko. It wishes me to cultivate solar vine, a plant that usually grows only in extreme heat. We'll accept that. If only I shone as brightly as a solar vine. I envy you the joy of discovery, friend. Okay. So it's recorded, but if I'm not mistaken, we have some in our inventory. I don't know if we have enough. We need probably about a hundred. Oh, we got plenty. We got plenty. And while we're here, we'll put the frost ward away. So we have plenty to do this with. Not only can we plant it. There we go. But we can turn it in too. You success you have successfully cultivated solar vine, yes. I can smell its heat from here. It's you can smell the heat. Okay then. Um alright. I can taste yellow right now. Um confirm. Fifty selenium. Wonderful. Savor this moment, friend. For now I lead you into a more dangerous realm of botanical study. Fungal cluster. We need fungal mold. Uh, which means toxic world, and we know we have one here. So we'll need at least 50, which means another 50 beyond that. And we need ammonia, 25, and we've got that already. Fungal clusters are cultivated within toxic environments, but you have proved you can master much, yes? Be careful as you work, friend. Clusters have been known to cause illness and hallucination if improperly handled. Extended exposure is ill-advised. Sounds like a commercial. Work gecko wishes me to use the hydroponics tree to grow fungal clusters. Except... Wonderful. While you prepare the fungal clusters, I will check our ventilation systems. One can have too much of a good thing. Funny. Now, I don't think we have any fungal clusters. I have to go to the storage container anyway to put away the selenium. Nope. Wrong button. Okay, I am doing something wrong here. Is it the middle button? Ah, that was it. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. I do not see fungus in here. There's no fungus among us. I am so sorry. That was terrible. Got gamma root. We don't have a lot, though. We'll need more. Okay. So, I guess that means we are off to get fungal clusters. So, we have not... We've scanned all the worlds, but we've not been to any of them. But I know that one of these planets had the ability to do that. So let me just get out into the open a little bit. There we go. Now, I don't think it was this one. Pretty sure. I have to rescan the planet, unfortunately. Yeah, that was the mean planet. You are, I think, uranium. So radioactive. Yes. Gamma root, though. It's good to know. I think it was one of these. Oh, I think it's you. I'm pretty sure it's you. What do you got? Fungal mold. We're, we're, we're on our way. All right. Okay. All right. We're almost to the planet. And again, you see it has activated copper on this planet, so that means we're going to have a, a time of it. <laughs> Especially if we get a storm, you get out of first-person view, it's annoying me. Kind of a good-looking planet, in a sense. I like the green. Ooh, and the green water, how nice. Alright, we're looking for fungal clusters. Oop, careful, slow down. A little bit faster. Oh, wait, is that it? Is that a crop of them? No, those are just the usual trees on this planet. Ah, there they are. That looks like a good cropping of them. Wrong button. And there we go, dropping in. Okay, let's go ahead and grab them. One, two, three, four. I didn't want that. Oh, get away from him. There we go. Ooh, we got some condensed carbon over there. Wow, there's a lot of those uh, little guys. Nope. Back to Runic Lens. Where are you there? There we go. Am 
Okay, uh, I'm not going to search those this time. Let's just go ahead and gather up the fungal clusters real quick. We don't need any jade peas. Oh, yeah, look at that. They got storm crystals here. Is that what I think this is? Yep, storm crystals. Ooh. So we could wait for a storm and grab some extra storm crystals if we wanted to. Got it. Okay. That should be all the fungal mold we'll need. How much do we end up with? 200. Yeah, that's fine. And what is that element there? Ammonia. Uh, how much do we have on us? We only have a hundred. Let's go ahead and just get some more. Oh, look at the butterfly style uh, creatures on this planet. They're flyable. Tameable and flyable. They don't quite move as fast as the beetle style ones, though. Alright, I want about a hundred extra of this. At the very least. It, it's actually good for charging your exo suit's shield for the poisonous planets. Okay, that should be good. Let's make this just a little bit bigger and take in a little extra. Ah! I was afraid of that because I was just thinking to myself I need to charge this up. Because I wanted to charge it. And get some more silicate, because I didn't have enough. Alright, that should be enough. Let's get some more silicate. Charge again. That should get it all we need here. Well, that's nice. I need a lot of the silicate. I want to see if I can get about good at least four or five hundred of it. There we go. I think that should be enough, right? Yeah, we got it. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, those guys are really, really cool. There we go. Yeah, they're really, really neat. See? It's dropping like a rock now. Okay. And where'd ship go? Over there. Ah! Shall we? Let's grab a couple of these. It's only a few of them. We'll go ahead and grab one cluster of them and then we'll get going. How are we doing on other elements? We got ca carbon. We got condensed carbon. Not a lot of it, but that's okay. We don't need a lot of it. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yep, some ships flying over. And this 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 the the screen goes green for the extreme storm. As long as they don't give me an extreme windstorm, this is gonna get bright. Watch your eyes, folks. Most toxic atmosphere, huh? Yeah, look at that toxicity. Good grief. Oh, there's four of them here. Five of them. Oh, that's even better. Excellent. Okay, we're done. I didn't want to stay too much longer. Alright, we're out of here. So that gives us the third plant done. Alright. Head in the direction of our base. Where the... There we go. On our way. Excellent. So we know where we can get this stuff now. I don't want to recharge that yet. I want to recharge that later. There we go. Coming in for a landing. So. Yeah, not bad. Maybe we can get the rest of the plants? I don't know. Possibly? All right, where is mine? Mine is on the left. There we go. I insisted on making myself a landing pad. That way I could save myself the landing juice to get up and off. Up and down on this thing. All right. 
Let's plant our plant. Fungal cluster. Put it in the back. All right. And there's the icon. Return to the farmer. Ah, you are finished then. Let me see those fungal clusters of yours. It has been such a long time. You offer them the mold, 50 of it. You learn quickly, traveler. Now that you have mastered some of the more dangerous flora, let us go one step further. And then we're on to gamma weed. Now I need 50 of it, but I'll need more. So I've got to go get some more. And we'll need uranium. Of course, I know where to get that. Okay. The Gek lost our homes, our cities, our identity in the last great war, Traveler. World upon world, bombarded by atomic strike. All that grows on the worlds of old are warped things, deadly to the touch, screaming with the memory of what they were once were. One such crop is gamma weed. We shall cultivate it here. Let us leave the fighting to others, friend. We shall grow things instead. Work at Goa wishes me to cultivate gamma weed using the hydroponics tray. Accept. I await the results with anticipation, Traveler. Now, please forgive me. I have not been able to sleep recently. I must get some rest. Okay, that's weird. Off to the cargo container. Storage container, pardon me. And we're going to put this. I just deleted it. I didn't put it in. Great, I deleted it. Well, so be it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put that in there for now. And we'll put you down here. Okay, so what do we have in gamma weed? We have 59 gamma root. Uh, we'll need a lot more than that. We can make the plant, but we'll need more. And uranium, do we have any on us? No, it's on one of the other ships, but that's okay. We'll get some more anyway. Because while we're there. And we know what one such planet, do we not? think it was not that planet it was that one it's the one with the rings on it let's see yep there you go uh, anomaly detected rare deep space object let's check it out ooh rubble of the first spawn I don't think we get any audio from it but it's always cool to take a look at these things. It appears way out there. It's actually much, much bigger than you think. Let's get the sun in such a position that we can see this. That's really cool, isn't it? Think we can fit there? I think we can. Wow, this thing. That was pretty neat. All right, let's head off to the planet. Seeing those things is pretty cool. What's our charge at? 29? 28? Let's use a radiant shard on it. So we're almost at this planet. So we're going to go after the gamma root, obviously, and uranium. Now note, of course, it says it's got activated copper. Now, it would be good to find ourselves a deposit of that as well. Now, this is just a nearby space object. It's not going to be anything more than somebody wanting to trade. Uh, hopefully we didn't come out over the ocean. I think we did. Didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay, let's go elsewhere real quick. Did it again. There we go. Land below us. Okay. As the land filters in. Okay, so we're looking for gamma root first and foremost. Shouldn't be difficult to spot from the air, as as is usual. Do do do. And then, of course, we need other elements, too, like these deposits like this. Ah, a little bit of a campsite there. That's nice. 
You can look for others, I suppose, but it's not really important. Okay. Gamma root, gamma root, gamma root. There's a little bit of gamma root right here. Four plants worth. That's really not enough. We need something a little bit better than that. And actually, we should follow... the... ley line on it. Let's head south. There's more right there. That's a little better. We got about six or eight plants there. I'd like something a little more than that. I want a couple hundred. If I can manage it. Not plants, mind you. Just more plants than that. Dee -dee -dee. Yeah. That's a shame. Hoping to find some more. I'm getting into more mountainous terrain here. Let's take a look real quick. Ah, there's a cropping right there. Okay. I see that's going to come in small amounts, so we'll go ahead and just land. This actually has a little couple more plants, I think. Extreme hazardous planet. Not going to tell me? Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay. Eight. Nine. Looks like that's it. Yep, that's it. And look at that. We've got ourselves an unknown grave right near us. Go figure. Go ahead and check it out. If anything, we'll get a memory fragment from it. I'm not going to read it out. This one died through Sentinels, it looks like. Extract a glyph. Okay. And we got a memory fragment. So we got 200 gamma root. That should be just enough. Uh, Prepackaged auto launch auto charger system. Do we have one of those already? We do not. Good. That should help out my launch. Excellent. Very much appreciated. S-Class. Very nice. Alright, we're looking for Uranium 562. Nice big creatures here. We'll go ahead and read them. What else we got? Oh, that guy looks like he might be a little bit excited. He enjoys the hunt, so that's not good. Okay, activated copper at 600, uranium at 998, uranium 729, activated copper over 1,000. Okay, let's go over to the ship for just a minute. My radiation protection is working fine, but I like to be close by. Alright, so how far is that one? Uranium at 466, that might be the closest one. So I guess we're just going to have to go there. Uranium-482. Alright, when we get there, we'll check for activated copper, and we can call our ship in. The launch thrusters are fully charged, so we should be alright. And we'll check it out for any plants along the way. And damaged machinery over here. Let's just go ahead and grab the buried tech while we're here, because we could use more. Of course, you're not going to give it to me, are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Great manipulator. Good, four of it. Oop, more, more buried technology right in the middle of nothing. I'll grab that too. Looks like we got four, three more of it. That's excellent. Ah, more buried technology. I will take it because I used up most of mine. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's charge that up. Oh, we have nothing to charge it with. Except for uranium. 
which we now have. There we go. Fully charged. So we're going to grab some more uranium here. Now that our shield is fully charged, that was uh, that was dicey because the uh, radiation protection was dropping real fast. I'm gonna have to call in the ship, and I didn't even know if I was the ship was gonna come quick enough. Okay, I want a few hundred. I know I've got some on my other ship, and I could have just pulled in the other ship and pulled it off of there. But I want to make sure we have some that we can take around with us because we'll need it for this. How much we got? 170, I want 200. There we go. Wind that out and just take the rest of this. And then we're going to look for activated copper. Why? Because it's good to have activated copper as an item in your inventory, in your storage. Because you never know when you might need it. Or something. Okay, how do we do? 235. Excellent. Got plenty of silicate. Uh, let's take a quick look. Uranium over there, uranium over there. Uh, ship is over there. Activated copper at 1,000. 724. Okay. 724, I guess we're heading over there. I don't want to use up all my uranium on my recharges, but we're going to go there. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. A little bit of... Um, act, uh, what do you call it? Condensed carbon is what I was looking at there. A little more condensed carbon over there. Because I know we need some. I'm going to grab it. Alright, and this should be the last plant that we're going to be making here. We'll check out to see what the next one is after this. And then we'll call it. And that'll be the end of our episode. So we'll finish up in the next episode. We'll finish up anything that we have left as far as our um, agricultural guy is concerned, our farmer. Farmer quests, if you will. And then hopefully we'll finish out our base and then we'll be done. So I think we got one more episode of doing some base stuff and then we're done. All right, so this storm is going to get nasty, so I'm going to pull in my ship when I get over here. There we go. I don't need a lot of activated copper. We just need a couple hundred of it. It's just nice to have, just in case you need it. I already got 50. Look at that storm drop my shield down. Not anymore, it ain't. Whew, dropped it 50 cent in like about 10 seconds, if that. Okay, we're at about 140. That'd be about 170. All right, we should be about 200 now. Yep, I think we do. Should be CU plus. Nope, CU, 210. That's good. Let's get out of here. All right, so we got everything we need. Let's head back to our base. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Good grief. Uh, that should be... There it is. And we're back to our base. Excellent. So this will complete out this mission, and we'll be done with that. And again, we'll go on to the other farmer missions. Oh, great. Except we got to fight a pirate now. Darn you, pirates. This must be a kind of a nasty system we're in here. I really need to get the combat scanner set up. Oh, sorry, buddy. You are toast, and there's nobody else.
And that was it. My Viking standing went up, so that's a good idea. Good idea to have done it. Just got to be careful. Object of interest, also another space signal. This would be a person. Um, am I going to my base? Am I going to the anomaly? I think I'm going to the anomaly. Okay, now we're heading to our base. Unfortunately, planetary interference wouldn't allow me to pulse drive to my base there, so no big deal. All right, here we go. Last of our mission. Okay, good. We're lined up with the right one. Light, right landing pad, and here we go. Okay, so let's plant our plant. Gamma weed. There we go. And then we talk to our farmer. Are the gamma weed cuttings ready? They require delicate care in spite of their of their chaotic origins, or perhaps because of them. Who knows? Show me your successes. We hand up some more. Hand some over. Ah, I will be able to make such fine dishes with this plant. <laughs> it is a pity that you are unable to gorge on this radioactive treasure, traveler. But perhaps I may offer an alternative. We will sate your hunger with beauty rather than food. We have Gravitino Host, Venom Urchin, and Albumin Pearl Orb. Three more plants that we're allowed to build. We shall act, cultivate a crop of Gravitino Host. I will be happy to tell you the history of this flora, should you wish it. My stories and theories seem to bore other GAC friends. I suppose I am closest to the Corvax in my wish to study. But even these... But even then, those machines lack all sense of surprise, all passion, wonder. I must confess that I frequently feel lonely. Work Echo wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow Gravitino hosts. Okay, except many believe the Gravitino hosts cannot be cultivated through artificial means, but I know they are wrong, friend. You will reap the benefits of my experimentation. Okay, so we've got to get a Gravitino ball. Um, you know that, that planet with the aggressive sentinels? Yeah, that's probably where we're going to go. Now, I'm just going to grow it in this tray here. So what we'll do is we'll just delete a couple of these plants. Uh, I don't really need them. There, that's gone, and that's gone. So we'll do that next. And that's what we're going to take care of on our next episode. So we're going to go ahead and call it here. Let me go ahead and put my stuff away real quick, like I usually do. And... Frost Crystals... Oh, I didn't realize we had those. Gamma root we'll put in here. I'll put it over here. Uh, let's see. Anything else we want to put in there from here? I want to keep the uranium in my inventory here. Uh, salt. We have salt in here. What in the world am I doing with salt? That can go in there. Uh, this can go in my ship. We'll go ahead and undo that. Oh, and activated copper we'll put in the inventory over here. And we have some extra carbon on us. So that's good. Very good. Oh. There we go. Selenium. Okay, good. We're running out of inventory space fast. Okay, and that should do it. Uh, let me just go ahead and open that up. There we go. We're going to put the salvage data in my starship. And we're ready. That's it. So I'll put the uranium over here. That looks better. Okay. And we're all done. So, I want to thank you all for joining us today, and joining me today, and I want you to go, please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. This uh, is an ongoing one. We've got a many, many more missions to go. Um, as far as I can tell, it's going to take a lot of missions to get to the center of the galaxy and complete all these little sub uh, missions that we've got. So we'll complete this out. We do have to install the Remembrance. That'll be another thing. We'll expand our base and all that stuff when we get to the chance and the base computer archives. We also have Dreams of the Deep. Um, we'll do the industrial surveying. I have to get that thing up and running. Um, this community research I'm not really worried about. These will always be in here, but we got to clear out all these extra secondary ones before we can continue on. After that, we're going to do the Atlas Path, and we'll be ready to go to the center of the galaxy. All right. So again, thank you all for watching. See you again in the next episode. Take care, everybody.